Hi, hello, everybody. Here I am again, and I'm here to do today's challenge, to um, Mindless Quarantine Challenge. Um, if you're not familiar with it, you will see it on two different pages. You'll see it on Scrap and Lizzie's Unicorns in Facebook, and you'll see it on Mary KK's Artful Journey. The same the same mindless quarantine challenge you'll see on each of those Facebook pages. Now, today's challenge is, <laughs> I was the one that suggested the challenge. You'd think I'd know what I was doing, but I suggested a challenge that we do an art project out of corrugated cardboard because, um, it's all about me, and I wanted to learn, I want to learn new things that we can do with corrugated cardboard. So, I thought maybe everybody would come up with something different, and then um, I could learn from it. See, because I'm always looking. Because I get these pieces of cardboard. My daughter can bring me home from work eight or ten of these a day. She quit bringing them home because I was getting such a stack of them. But she, where she works, they something comes packaged using these cardboards. And so I've been wanting to find things that we can make using the cardboard. And so my thought today, so so Lori put up a tag. She says, put up, make a tag. And so I thought, okay, I can do that, I think. I said, I can do that, I think. Sometimes, oh, sometimes I think I can do anything. But these are kind of hard to cut when you're with a pair of scissors when you're old. Oh, good grief. I know. I always use my old age as an excuse. Have you noticed that? My old age is always my excuse. So I, these, I'm cutting out flower petals. That's what I'm doing right here in case, in case you were wondering. Or maybe they're leaves. I don't know, but I'm cutting them. I'm getting them cut. And so, I've already cut strips like this. I cut those on the guillotine cutter and have already separated some of them. And so, so that I wouldn't take up all of your time. I only want to take up part of your time. Now, and I'm going to use one of the full sheets for a tag. So, this is going to be a very long tag, I think. Let me check something, though. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. Oh, I need more petals than that, Elizabeth Marie. Oh, here. Let me see. Maybe those petals are too big. So, um, hmm. I... Oh, goodness me. So I'm cutting out petals. This is the shape of a petal. And when you're cutting out petals, since all flowers have different shapes of petals, you just cut them suckers out however you see fit. Now, I'm not going to paint these or anything. I'm just going to leave them corrugated. I'm just going to leave them in the color that they are. Now, I might say later that, oh, I should have painted them first or something. But I kind of think I want it that, I don't know, what do you call it, monotone or whatever. Okay, now I need a couple more petals. And we'll see how this turns out. I kind of like cardboard, 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 corrugated cardboard because it kind of is that rustic look 
And because you can get corrugated, how come I now can't say it? Corrugated cardboard is something you can get in abundance because so many things, if you order something, it's probably going to come in a corrugated cardboard box. Okay, so let me see. I'm going to put those off to the side. I won't throw them away yet because I just don't throw things away right away. Now, so now what I'm going to do, I think I got enough petals. Do I have enough petals here? This one's kind of too big. Okay, so what I'm, whoopsie. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to separate them. And to do that, I, this is actually a needle. It's like a very large needle. And I just stick that in there in that hole in the, make sure I'm on the same side each time. And I just pull that top layer off. And so then you see the corrugated part. And I like that. I love that look, I'm telling you. Okay. Let's see. I think that look is awesome. So that's what I'm doing. I'm getting getting the, the layers separated. Okay. Oh, that one I didn't do right. I put, that's okay, though. That's all right. Ooh. Maybe that's really all right, because it might make the petals turn upwards. Sometimes when you make a little error, then you say, Ooh, yeah, I like that error. Because I said, like, when I put the needle in, I try to put it in the hole at the top that's attached up here. And then pull it this way and that one I put put it in at the top and then at the bottom so it separated it some more but I might like that I might like that because I just noticed how it kind of curls so I about got these all this won't take long it's just going to take a little long okay Oh, so I think if I get some good ideas, which I have a feeling I'm going to get some awesome ideas. I already saw the one that, um, that Lori posted and she did awesome. She did an awesome, awesome job. So that's already one idea for our corrugated cardboard. And I'm sure that putting all of our heads together, we'll come up with some absolutely fantabuloso um, ideas. And I love that primitive look. I just love the primitive look. And um, I think if I was born in primitive times, I would have been a happy camper. Well, I'm a happy camper anyway. But um, yeah. Okay. That needle stick to that magnet. Yeah, I'll use it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these petals and I'm going to put them around. Let's see. I'm going to put them around like this. So that's going to be a flower. So I'm going to put them just as they are. And then while this glue is drying, which it will, this is tack, Aileen's tacky glue, and so it does do its job pretty quickly. And um, boy, sometimes, you know, you just get something in your hand and you just sort of start Okay, now, now this, I cut a bunch of strips, I glued that together and then clipped it with that clip to hold it, because that's going to sit right there in the middle. Um, okay, and then I have these, I cut these, this one, I cut it on the guillotine cutter and I cut it 
a half an inch. They're a half an inch. So this won't be a tag that you can actually like use in a journal or something because it'll be definitely too thick. But it's a tag that you could maybe put on the front of a journal or you could put it, just hang it on the wall. Just hang it somewhere. So I, hmm, I want to roll this. Okay, maybe I need to roll it this way. Oh, that rolls better to roll it that way. Okay, and let's see. I want to make rolls about, how big do I want it? I want it about that big, I think. And so I'm going to cut that off here. And then I'm going to glue that. My glue, come out. Come out, come out wherever you are. Okay. Okay, now. I love just making tags. I'm telling you, I, um... Okay, let's see if I can put this in here. I um, I ordered tags. I was looking for, you know, I usually make my own tags out of different papers and things. But then I was at a, like, industrial kind of a site. And I was looking. And these got delivered this morning. Just a minute. Let me look at you. Let me look at you for a minute. You see that box? I got 2,500 tags, 2,500, but look at them, they're nice tags, nice manila tags, just the kind we use, reinforced hole, look at them all, I got 2,500, so you need to know that if you order a cigar box, you're going to get probably at least 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten. You'll probably get ten. So, yeah, I'm glad I got them because we're going to love them in our boxes. Okay, so, is that holding? Yeah. So now I'm going to roll another one. Roll your own. Okay, that one, about that big. Yeah, I love making tags, different kind of tags. You can make so many um, small art projects on a tag. You know, we make art projects on ATC cards, and um, they are awesome. But, you know, you can take a tag and also make... Um, make... Um, Oh, think Elizabeth, make beautiful art, small art, small art projects. Okay, I don't know if I should already be gluing these in here because I don't even know if it's going to work what I want it to do. I'm gluing them inside that circle. Okay. And just glue them as I go. Hopefully it does what I tell it to do. I guess I shouldn't put it on top of that right now because I might get glue all over it where I don't want it to be. Now, and get me another one. Creating this flower. You know, I was a flower child at one time. Wasn't actually, I'm not exactly sure what the flower child was, but I did live through the flower child days. I was a teenager. I really was a teenager at one time. Hard to believe now, but I was a teenager. And man, I was, well, I was going to say it was cool, but I pretended. I pretended I was cool. Um, 
I got some good memories of my teenage days. I was I was thinking about that, you know, how we used to have a school dance every Friday night. That's fun. But um, I'm not a teenager anymore. I'm old. Oh, I always tell you that I'm old. I keep reminding you that I'm old. So you, so you won't forget. I don't want you to be forgetful like I am. Okay, now let's see if, okay, we're going to do this one. I'm still making these coils that's going inside this other part of this. Okay. Is it Sunday? No, it's Saturday, isn't it? It's Friday? Oh, it's Friday, yes. <gasps> Ooh, I got to get something ready for my daughter before she gets here with my dog. I mean, her dog that I dog sit when she works. I have to get some something ready for her. I got to do that. I'll do that as soon as I get this done. Okay, see, I'm putting them inside there. I'm putting them, I'm sticking them in there. I'm sticking them in there. I'm telling you. I'm sticking them in there. I'm telling you. So I'm just curling them up. And I'm finding that they curl better if I curl the corrugated part inside but um it doesn't matter because it'll look out it'll turn out the same look and so this glue is is really good it, it grabs good and it grabs quickly and so I think all of Aileen's glue is really, really good. Okay, so now I want to squeak, get another one squoze right on the edge, and then another one squoze right in the middle. You know, this one on this side, hmm, let me see if that's going to even, maybe this little short piece will be enough to get it squoze in there. Oh, yeah, that one will be enough. So we'll get that glued on there. Okay, and then let's get some glue. See, you can see that glue, but when it dries, you won't see that glue anymore. And so I'll get that squoze in there. There we go. Now I just need one for in the center. So I'll get that in the center, and that one will need to be about that big, okay. Get me some glue on there. Boy, I've had fun this morning, I'm telling you. Day is flying by. Usually I go for a nap about this time, but I can't go for a nap because I got things to do, people to see, places to go. But gosh, I did my Zentangle video. I um, started working on my back porch because I'm rearranging it back there so I can, because I need to do some jelly roll prints, jelly prints and stuff. Look how that fits in there so nicely. Okay, so I got all of them squashed in there. I just made them coils and put them inside the original one. So now I'm going to put this right in the center of the flower. First, though, I need to have a stem. Get that stem. Make sure that that stem is going to be long enough and I'm put a stem oh and then I was watching TikTok like I say that TikTok thing <laughs> just addicted to TikTok I'm telling you that's funny stuff okay so I'm put this on here but then look at this how I'm dyeing this fabric I learned it on tab on TikTok look at that I'm telling you. I'll show you that too. I'll make a video. 
but I got to play with it for a while till I get to be an expert. You know, expert. Okay, so now I'm going to glue, put plenty of glue on this bottom piece, on the bottom. Oh, sorry about that noise. And um, let's put that right on here. This is going to be right on here. Now, I'll put a, put a punch a hole in this top, and you know what's going to be the string to tie it. It's going to be bailing twine or, um, yeah, that brown ropey stuff. I call it bailing twine because that's what we used to bail hay with. So then, then I have a leaf here. And then I have another leaf that can go, let me see, I want this one to go kind of here. I should have cut that one sort of. Oh, I still can. It wasn't completely dry. I'm going to just get that sort of cut on the diagonal so it fits against the stem. And then do I want to put one more leaf on there? Um, no. Because, well, first of all, what, I got a package again? Mail. I got mail. Oh, I got to pay this bill. Okay. Oh, media. The crow. Comes from the crow. Oh, gosh, I'll do with that in a minute. Um, hmm. I'm going to put a hole right here at the top. Let me see where my hole is going to be. I'm making a tag out of corrugated cardboard. I gotta get Tommy Sue to bring me home more of these. She quit bringing them home because I wasn't using them fast, but now I got more ideas, so I'm gonna have her bring me some more. Okay, so that is gonna be the twine I'm gonna put in there. And then here, let me see. Excuse my boarding house reach, y'all. And so I gotta get my box of words. Okay, love you, darling. Shut the door, sweetheart. My, would you shut my door, please? My air conditioning is on. Okay, so I'm gonna put. I've got these words. Now let me see. Let me see what I have. Okay, sweetie. Delight, serenity. Intuition, dream, inspire. I'm going to put inspire. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put inspire. Okay, so, but I can see that it's going to be up here on this. So I'm going to put a little piece. Well, maybe I would put a leaf down here. Yeah, I will put a leaf like here there we go that's good because then my when I glue the um, I glue this on here then when I glue this on here it actually so then on the bottom it's going to say inspire to fill with animating quickening or Exalting influence. Now I need to move that up just a little bit. Yeah. And so, you know what I'm going to do is put the glue here and here. And I might even need just a little piece of this right here under. I won't see that, but it'll help hold it 
because it's dimensional. I'll put this one right here. Then I'm going to. Why did I put that glue on the back of that? I do not know. Okay. Sometimes I wonder about myself. So that is my flower. Just a second. Now. Just a second. I'm going to go right over here and get my. Um, Oh, there it is. Right there it is. Right there it is, Rob. There it is. Well, I don't have the twine I wanted in this twine box, but I got some that will work just fine. And so I have this, which this will be fine. And, um,. really wanted that heavier and I might change it later but um but this is it now I'm going to put this in here into the hole and there and there is my tag. Um, let me just scoot. No, I can't. I can't scoot you any farther back. Okay. See, now you see my whole mess. Not just part of my mess. But see, that is my my tag using the card corrugated cardboard. Now, you could paint. You could go through and paint the leaves green if you want to, the stem. You could paint the flower, make a sunflower out of that. Do you see that, Tammy? You can make a sunflower out of corrugated cardboard and just color it all the sunflower. This would be perfect. So, um, this would be perfect, although you couldn't really put it in your album once you glued it to the front. But look at there. Then these pieces here that I have taken off of the backs are already cut to petals so I might make something out of them too so that's it thank you so much for watching and um, and then let me give you some heart thoughts this time treasury of inner wisdom let's find one we haven't read for a while um, home Okay, my home is a peaceful haven. If you want to move from where you are, thank your present home for being there for you. Appreciate it. Don't say, oh, I hate this place, because then you aren't going to find something you really love. Love where you are so you can open yourself to a wonderful new place. Uh, my home is a peaceful haven. Look at your home. Look at your home. It is, is it a place where you really want to live? Is it comfortable and joyous? Or is it cramped and dirty and always messy? If you don't feel good about it, you are never going to enjoy it. Your home is a reflection of you. What state is it in? Clean out your closets and your refrigerator. Take all the stuff in the closet that you haven't worn in a period of time and sell it, give it away, or burn it. Get rid of it so that you can make room for the new. As you let it go, say, I'm cleaning out the closets of my mind. Do the same with your refrigerator. Clean out all the foods and scraps that you have been, that have been there for a while. People who have very cluttered closets and cluttered refrigerators have cluttered minds. Make your home a wonderful place to live in. This might be good for some, but a craft hoarder? has a little problem. I'll clean out my refrigerator. I'll do that part of it so I won't leave it all behind. But that's the heart thoughts for today. God bless you all. Thank you for watching and please come back to see me on the next video. I ask God to watch over you every step you take. Every move you make, stay safe. 
God bless.